lung cancer is on a rise in India. There are a lot of factors which are attributed to the causation of lung cancer. Primarily tobacco and off-late air pollution also has a hand in causing lung cancer. Unfortunately in India, a lot of patients come in very advanced stages and only 5% of patients are amenable to surgery. The main treatments for lung cancer are surgery, radiation therapy and chemotherapy and off-late immunotherapy also. As I told you, only 5% of patients undergo surgery. Majority chunk of patients are treated by radiation. Even after surgery, 30 to 40 percent cases may require radiation to suppress the chances of tumor from coming back. What exactly is radiation? Radiation is nothing but these are high energy x-rays which are delivered to the body in a way that radiation reaches only to those areas where tumor is there. It is delivered by machines called linear accelerators and these linear accelerators are very very advanced and focused so that radiation goes only to the tumor bearing area and the adjoining areas such as heart, foot pipe or spinal cord are protected from the detrimental effect of radiation. The duration of radiation for lung cancers is usually 6 weeks and it is also along with chemotherapy. The chemotherapy is delivered weekly so that the effect of radiation is better. It is called a radiation sensitizer. Radiation is delivered after preparing a chest mask. With the mask on, we do a CT scan. The CT scan is fused with the images of the PET scan which the patient has undergone and we identify or delineate the focused area where radiation has to be delivered. Radiation as such does not cause symptoms, it does not cause any pain or burning or any electric sensation but there will be some side effects and these side effects include weakness, fatigue, sensation of nausea, vomiting and burning in the throat because lung cancers are close to our food pipe. So almost during the third week of treatment patients complain of discomfort during swallowing. Also there may be fall in blood counts because radiation and chemo both affect the bone marrow. But there are medicines to suppress these side effects. Additionally, there are some precautions if they are followed then the side effects are minimal. The precautions primarily include no usage of soap, cream, oil over the chest wall, taking food at a room temperature, taking more non-spicy food which is less fatty, which is less irritant. And also if the blood counts are on the lower side, we would avoid taking raw fruits and vegetables and anything which hurts, hard foods or nuts which are avoided. You can grind them and puree them, these things to consume before you eat them. Additionally, uh, some patients require internal radiation which is called brachytherapy which is limited to a very very small segment of patients. It is called intraluminal brachytherapy where we introduce a catheter into the windpipe and the radiation is delivered only around that particular area where there is some blockage because of the lung cancer or there is some excessive bleeding because of lung cancer. But it is employed in less than 2% of cases. Most patients require external radiation. There are different techniques of radiation which are decided as per the location of the tumor and as per the stage of the tumor. Some tumors which are lower down in the lung are treated by gated techniques which means since the tumor is moving a lot because there is a diaphragm because of the respiratory movement the tumor is moving. Here the radiation is delivered by gating where we coach the patient how to breathe and the radiation is timed with the breathing pattern so that if patient is breathing and tumor is at a particular location during deep breathing we give radiation only that time so that we don't give radiation to the extra tissues which can come into the field because of the movement. But tumors which are higher up do not require these techniques which can be treated by simple IMRT or IGRT techniques. If patient follows all the instructions and takes medicines in time, most of the patients recover in due course of time and have a good life ahead.